First off, we have a little pin valve at the top. Make sure your tank is completely void of air. If you can't push that down with your finger, you can't work on it. Uh, there's a hex right around it. It's a 316 Allen wrench, and when that's completely void of air, I can take my Allen wrench and actually shove that pin valve down in there. You have to hold it, it's a little tight, uh, but just get it all the way down as far as you can, and then that top cap will break free. Once it's broke free, usually you can just do it by hand, and not that tight. Uh, I'm just gonna take that top piece off. We call this top piece a flange, just so people know our terminology. That flange sits right on top. Underneath that, we have that little pin valve. It's a little spring. The regulator piston itself. Get that little dump. And it's spring. So the tank literally goes big spring, big piston, little spring, little piston. And the flange, you then just fit right back over the top. From there, I'm going to take this out. It's going to seem to have quite a bit of grease on it. I'm not sure who did this. I don't recommend this kind of grease. Let me have a rag here, which I don't have. I'm just going to pull this off my finger. No big deal. Uh, again, I don't recommend that heavy grease. Light grease uh, or a high pressure air oil work better. Um, one thing you want to do is just make sure that this lower piston o-ring and this upper piston o-ring uh, both appear to be in good shape, which these are. Um, if you do see any damage with the lower one, um, I recommend replacing it. Sometimes the spring will just kind of make it wear a little bit. There's a little hole on this regulator right behind this gauge. It's going to be very, very hard to see with your camera. If there's air leaking out that little hole, almost 100% of the time it's going to be due to this lower piston o-ring uh, being damaged cracked or uh, or sometimes even missing. So I'm going to put the spring back on my big piston, shove that whole thing down in there. Uh, little spring, oops, little spring uh, in its pocket above the big piston. Pop it as we call it or a little piston. It's going to go there and then feed my flange down on and get that pop it through the flange and it just screws right back down. These, uh, these threads are a fine thread. You want to make sure you get that lined up real well before you go to twist it. Hear that little pop? Those were the springs settling, finding their little home, if you will. And get that about as far as I can make it go with my fingers. And I'm going to go back to my 3 16 recommend spinning the tank because I want to keep that uh, thing depressed. I don't want to strip out the brass of that top flange. And again, good finger snug. And that is the internals of uh, the Myth Regulators. They're the same internals for the Myth 3Ks, the Myth 4.5, uh, even back to the G2. The G2 does have a few differences, but same internals. Burst discs are pretty standard. They come on and off with a 4 millimeter wrench. Um, I recommend not removing them unless you're already having an issue with them. They're a compression fitting. I'll show you one. And again, always make sure your tank is void of air before you go to turn in these things. Uh, they rely on just the metal face of the burst disc and the metal face of the reg squashing the other and creating that seal. So the more times you take it out, put it back in, the less likely it is to find that perfect face to seal on. But you want to make those pretty good and snug. Um, you should never really see the high burst disc popping. Uh, that's due to overfilling the tank. The low burst disc would be if that large piston inside stopped making it seal at the, the very bottom face. If you blow more than one low burst disc, I'd probably recommend uh, getting a rebuild kit and swapping that piston out. If you blow one or two, it's just going to keep happening. It is a safety feature. It's there for a reason. Uh, other than that, if you have any questions, concerns about the tanks, please uh, get a hold of us.